Hello again. Today our topic is storage and directory structures. This can be subdivided into partitions. Partitioning is useful for limiting the sizes of individual file systems. Putting multiple file system, storing multiple file system types on the same device, or leaving part of the device available for other users. This core partition can be used raw without a file system or formatted with a file system. Partitions are also known as mini disks or slices. Disk core partitions can be read protected against failure. As well as general purpose file systems, there are many special purpose file systems, frequently all within the same operating system or computer. Any entity containing a file system is known as a volume. Volumes can also store multiple operating systems, allowing a system to boot and run more than one operating system. Each volume that contains a file system must also contain information about the files in the system. This information is kept in entries in a device directory, or also called volume table of contents. The device directory records information such as the name of the file, location, size, type, and others for all the files on that volume. Next directory overview. The directory can be viewed as a symbol table that translates file names into their directory entries. The directory itself can be organized in many ways. The organization must allow to insert entries, delete entries, search for a named entry, and to list all the entries in the directory. Here we have the most common used operations performed in directories. Search for a file in the directory, create a file, new files need to be created and added to the directory. Delete a file. When a file is no longer needed, we want to be able to remove it from the directory. List a directory, rename a file, traverse the file system. The directory is organized logically to obtain efficiency, locating a file quickly, naming, convenient to users, so two users can have the same name for different files. The same file can also have several different names. And the grouping, logical grouping of files by their properties. For example, all Java programs, all games, etc. Next, we describe the most common schemes for defining the logical structure of a directory. The simplest directory structure is the single level directory. All files are contained in the same directory, which is easy to support and understand. A single level directory has the two problems of naming and the grouping. Since all files are in the same directory, they must have unique names and we cannot group files according to their properties or usage. The next directory structure is the two-level directory structure. Here we have separate directory for each user. Each user gets their own directory space. File names only need to be unique within a given user's directory. So no problem of having the same name for the file in different user directories. A master file directory is used to keep track of each user's directory and must be maintained when users are added or removed from the system. A search path is the list of directories in which to search for executable programs and can be set uniquely for each user. The searching in the two-level directory structure is efficient, but there is no grouping capability. An obvious extension to the two-level directory structure is the three directory structure. Each user or process has the concept of a current directory from which all relative searches take place. Files may be accessed using absolute path names or relative path names. 
directories are stored the same as any other file in the system except there is a bit that indicates them as directories and they have some special structure that the operating system understands one question for consideration is whether or not to allow the removal of directories that are not empty for example windows requires that directories be emptied first and unix provides an option for deleting entire subtrees tree directory structure does not support shareable files tree directory structure is efficient in searching has a grouping capabilities but it does not support shareable files next a cyclic graph directories and a cyclic graph is a graph with no cycles and allows to share subdirectories and files the same file or subdirectory may be in two different directories for example this file is in the subdirectory list and subdirectory all a cyclic graph directory is a general form of the tree structure directory it's used in cases where two programmers are working on a joint project and they need to access files these associated files are stored in a subdirectory separating them from other projects and files of other programmers since they are working on a joint project they want the subdirectories to be into their own directories so the common subdirectories should be shared the shared file is not the same as a copy file when the file is shared if any programmer makes some changes in the subdirectory it will reflect in both subdirectories the main advantages of a cyclic graph directory are we can share files and searching is easy due to different paths however the cyclic graph directories have the following disadvantages we share the files via linking in case of deleting the file it may create some problems if the link is soft link then after deleting the file we left with danger link pointers so if we have several pointers to the same file after deleting the file some of the pointers may be left and they point to non-existing file in case of hard link to delete a file we have to delete all the references associated with it next general graph directory in general graph directory cycles are allowed within a directory structure where multiple directories can be derived from more than one parent directory the main problem of this kind of directory structure is to calculate the total space that has been taken by the files and directories general graph directory structure has the advantages of allowing cycles and this structure is more flexible than other directory structures but general graph directory has the following disadvantages it is more costly than other structures and it needs garbage collection for today that's all thank you